Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, going with my favorite breakfast today. I like it just simple. I don't like these waffles and these pancakes or anything. I like the salty type thing. So hash browns for sure, a couple fried eggs, definitely bacon, some nice crispy rye bread. I like rye bread more than anything. Two types of toast, plain butter for the eggs, of course. And then we need to have like a dessert uh, toast with peanut butter, jam, strawberry jam, no chunks, and then a few blistered tomatoes and also it wouldn't be me as a white Canadian man without having some ketchup all over that bacon. So let's get into it. I'm hungry. I'll meet you outside after this and uh, we'll chill. Hey, we're doing air fryer bacon. We do switch up the bacon methods around here from time to time, but lately the air fryer bacon's killing it for me. And I used to parchment paper this, but I've noticed that I, I used to do that just so that the cleanup would be less, but I've noticed that cooking it like this, just with the way that it's supposed to work with the airflow from both sides really does make for the greater bacon so uh i'm gonna go ahead and make sure you know sacrifice my menial minimal cleanup for a better bacon so got our slices we're going in at i usually put them in at like 400 for like 10 minutes 12 minutes go ahead and pop our toast in on setting six it's my perfect toast i've come to find know your toaster guys get to know your toaster what setting works perfect for you so you can just set it forget it come back and get your perfect toast we're going with three toasts i want two butter and one dessert pb and j that's what's up almost crispy but also still a little floppy perfect air fryer bacon all set to ride just got to get some of the fat off on this paper towel but that's looking pretty perfect to me i would say i gotta say the air fryer bacon has really I think it's maybe my favorite method to make bacon, to be honest. And once again, the air fryer is just our best pal. We're gonna do some air fryer H browns. And I think I'm gonna put these in probably for 400 again, just for, I don't know, we'll see, eight minutes maybe, eight to 10. While that is occurring, we're gonna flick the flame on and go ahead and blister off these cherry tomatoes real quick, just to get them a little soft, a little supple, a little juicy, a little, you know, you know, you yeah. know. It's got a few multi-colored heirloom cherry tomatoes here. And just to help pull a little bit of moisture, tiny bit of salt. Okay, a nice good amount of butter here, just coming down nice and slow. Don't want to burn any butter. We hate burnt butter around here. Three eggs going in. Egg one, and no shells, no shells, no shells, please. Egg dos, in, perfect. No shells, no shells, no shells. Third egg. Oh, shells, all the shells. I don't know about you guys, but to me there's few more hypnotizing, like more delicious looking sounding things than an egg and butter just slowly bubbling and flapping away. There's just something about it that is so ASMR slash like delicious. <laughs> anyway, get a little spoony with the butter over the top. Poached fried butter eggs. The best a man can get. I feel like I could just put this on a loop and call it like an ASMR video for like 10 hours maybe. <laughs> get a million hits, two million hits, make about, you know, a few grand. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, we got our plate here, serving dish. Gonna go eggs in the middle. Perfect crispy fried. Sunny side up with a little bit of a poach in the butter. Hash browns coming in over upon this side. Gonna throw our charred tomatoes down in with them, just beside the eggs. And then of course we gotta put our 
gang of bacon on the plate coming in hot with what do we got like six strips here i just wanted to finish off the last of my bacon so there is the main plate the bacon the eggs the tomatoes the hash browns Ooh, we got it all yeah that is looking beautiful i'm very excited to eat this but we have to make our toast now okay buttered toast Butter toast, gotta get it while well, it's hot. All sides, all four corners of the earth. Swip swap, we're doing it fast. I love a good piece of nice butter rye. We'll stack. In half. that all together on its own plate butter toast and then a PB and J I actually do like to kind of wait to put the PB on a PB and J due to the fact that if the toast is too hot the PB gets a little too liquidy and then it's really hard to spread the J the PB the J. And we'll see how how this comes out here. This is the hardest part about PB and J. Getting a nice spread without making too much of a mess. What that should do. Half this one so that we can get all the toast in the same plate. Dessert toast, main toast, let's go eat. All right, yes, breakfast is served. We are back in the garden of Zen. The bees are buzzing, the birds are chirping, wings have been flapping, and I can hear, oh, I can hear a flight path. <laughs> Here, on approach. Maybe we'll get lucky. Anyways, we're outside. Breakfast is served. It looks very, very bomb. I guess I'll de-shave for this so we can get real real intimate okay you hear that you hear the birds it is a nice zen morning it's about 10 30 i've been up since 6 45 7 o'clock went grocery shopping and did all the shit and uh, this is just the beginning of a bunch of shit to do today so i'm i'm pulling up with a different option today we got tropicana no pulp i hate pulp it's just it's a texture thing for me i think um, every time I have pulp, I just like, it just feels like there's like horseradish in my orange juice. So that's very unchill and we're not here for it. So perfect pour up of the OJ. I, uh, hope I'm in decent focus and the food's in decent focus. The OJ is definitely in focus right now. Inaugural pout. really good to be honest i think there's better ojs than tropicana out there but to each their own right okay we got our pl 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 plate of toast to the side because i can't fit everything on this board but uh we're good we're ready to go we're here it's happening okay but what are we gonna do first i think honestly i'm gonna go with like this egg a piece of this egg. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's do one whole egg on a toast. Like this. All right. Perfect fit. Boom. But what I want to do is I want to put in a tomato on that. Just a charred tomato. But I want to like break it onto it. And I think maybe just like that, just that's it. The acidity of the tomato, the egg, the yolk, right there. And just get in, try to get in the middle into that yolk. Mmm. Mm-hmm.
the yolk kind of it's half soft a little runny a little fully cooked I think that's a byproduct of I had the plate on top of my toaster while the toast was finishing in an attempt to keep things warm That's the hardest part about these videos. Not that. Timing. Getting everything together at once. You know, setting up the camera, bringing my shit out here, the microphone, my setup, these cutting boards. And then these foods. Because breakfast foods stay finicky with temperature. I feel like breakfast is one of those meals that's got to come hot out the window. For its optimal, optimal performance. But yeah, guys, like I'm saying lately... Just, I don't know, the air fryer bacon is just a little diff. Just perfect. Not burnt. Crispy. Still with a little bit of, a little bit of give, the best. Hmm, what to do now? More bacon, more bacon. So yeah, like I said in yesterday's video is, uh, The trap house got shut down. Which is so sick. I'm just so happy because. Wow, eh, bud? Oh, yeah. Ding, ding, ding. This guy's got it figured out. Um, you know, it's just. It's been such a hot spot. And uh, just all the, the weirdies that end up in my area. Like the other day, I pulled up. And like right in the alleyway, sitting in the alleyway, right beside where I park my truck in my like my little driveway nook. There's two people like with their bicycles sat down and they're just like shooting up. I don't I just get out of my truck and like they look at me and I look at them and I'm like right here? Right here. <laughs> like by the open road. I understand you're in dire straits and like you're in addiction, the, the throes of addiction, but like right here? Chill it, skillet. Like right by where you scored. So heat sack. And then the other day, I'm pulling up from grocery shopping and some guy rounds the corner from near the house He's got no shirt on, underwear, a uh, pair of socks. He looks dazed and confused, twisted and used, and he's just wandering in the street, high as can be. And then he tries to engage in conversation with me. I was just like, I looked directly at him. He like tried to acknowledge me and I just <laughs> didn't say a word. I just kept doing my thing. So, needless to say, it's been ridiculous. Anyways, for the last little bit, 
I've seen, I've, sp I've spotted what I thought was like some, some undies, some undie coveys in like very, Standardized vehicles like like Toyota Corolla and shit like that. Kind of parking at distance, keeping an eye and just like documenting shit. So in my head, I was like, I think they're kind of working on it. But we'll see. And uh And then the other night, two exact same like undercover unit Silverados pulled up, and then dudes in vests with like a battering ram entered the lane with. I guess forced entry into the residence and uh, uh, made their arrests and what's that when you confiscate or whatever all the uh, drug and paraphernalia so anyways It was a big neighborhood show, big event. And lots of people from surrounding houses came out to observe, obviously just because of human curiosity, uh, and, uh, and cheer on the police. For taking these fuckers down. <laughs> um... But yeah, was, I mean, it's obvious to show that clearly everybody knew about it. And everybody in the area was equally as annoyed by it. Just because of the people that it brings around our neighborhood. It just like, it screws up A, the, like the value of your neighborhood. as a desirable place to live for the appreciation of the value of your home. So there's that. But then on top of that, it just brings around sketchy characters who you don't know what they're going to get up to. And, uh, it also shows that everybody in the area was equally as like, didn't know what to do about it. But I guess that's how it works in policing. Like, you got to, like, really build your case, I guess, before you really go knocking down doors. So I guess they've just been building their case for quite some time. And then now they've took action. So uh, yesterday, like a day after the, uh, all the, like, the details came out on a, on a public Facebook post, like from the city of uh, Thunder Bay, where I live. And uh, it just, it disclosed kind of what, what occurred. Uh, like who they were. Oh, tomatoes pop so good. And it was like some young, like 20 year old, 21, 21 and 20 year old kids from Southern Ontario originally. They seized cocaine and fentanyl. And then something about five grand cash. And I was like, 
five grand. Either these dudes definitely have like a stash spot or some shit buried in the backyard. Or they straight up just get high off their own supply and barely make a profit because that makes no sense. This place has been in higher production. For like the year and a half that I've been here. To the point where I was like, these guys gotta be making bank. Like But who knows? I don't know. Maybe they're big spenders. Either way. The neighborhood's back to quiet no no not back to quiet now it is quiet and like doesn't have all that traffic but uh my my what i wonder is is do they just get charged catch a little slap on the wrist or is anybody going to jail uh you know what's actually going to come of these arrests and how long does this area stay quiet before some next shit starts up or whatever but I would assume that if they were renting the unit because it is an apartment like it's a house converted to apartments I'd assume if they're renting there, they're no longer going to be able allowed to rent there. Unless, of course, a landlord was involved. <laughs> Which, hey, you never know. Landlord might have been getting paid off to be hush hush. Let us do our thing. We'll give you rent plus. Type shit. All right. <clears throat> dessert. Because I ran out of ketchup, we're doing dessert. PB and J. Bacon toast. Try it sometime. <laughs> Come on. Shouldn't be that good. Criminal. That's amazing. Hmm. Wow, especially on this type of toast. With its physical structure, just the thin nature of that toast. Me and that toast are unalike in that category. But yeah, it was a good day to have a celebratory breakfast. And find peace in the Zen garden. Man, I really want some ketchup for this last piece of bacon. Oh well. 
I think that'll do it. I still have like a whole piece of toast over here. But I'm good where I'm at. Got things to do. Don't want to be too full. And I'm having, I'm cooking my mom dinner on the patio. She's bringing Scrabble. I'm bringing dinner. We're having mom, son, <laughs> Scrabble, dinner, summer patio vibes tonight. So it's a two meal day, but we're keeping the meal light. All right. Peace and blessings to all y'all watching this try to keep them spirits up and until the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true <laughs>